This is the city, Los Angeles, California. That's where we are for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. Fighting through. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's the Pro Bowler, Christian McCaffrey. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You talk about this Rams defense. Well, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. It's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. McCaffrey running up the middle. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Purdy now to throw off the play action. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 23 yards, the final tally. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Birdie. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, his first touchdown of the new season. And the 49ers are on the board first on the road here in L.A. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Go and play action, Ritter. Throw left side complete. That's Williams. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Nicole Hardman, the intended target, third down here. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. You look at this Niner defense. They're trying to cover up some holes in the secondary. Right now, bottom five in the league against the pass at number 28. With a lack of pass defense, they do make up for in run defense, a top 10 unit against the people trying to move the ball on the ground. But this is a passing league. 
So there's a conundrum for them. How do they get better defending the pass? Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown LA. Nicole Hardman, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. Extra point right down the middle. And they take the lead here at 7 to 6. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring... And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Dane Crookshank. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Now, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Ritter with it after the play fake. That's caught. It's 2-2 Atwell. Now he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 30 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection... That's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a look. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Miko Hardman, two catches, two touchdowns here so far as his guys are able to extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle, and the lead is up to eight. Well, not content with the first quarter lead, I guess. They're going to go onside kick. Well, a timeout called for by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. On the toss, they run wide side to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Purdy now on second down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, 14-6 our score on EA Sports. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Purdy looking to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Niners first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And they're right there in that middle ground. Field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And now a throw on first 
down there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, but they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second down, McCaffrey. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 66 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. First down, this is McCaffrey. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action third. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Niners have come back to make it a two-point game. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in the touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Ritter with another throw on second down. And this one too low. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Ritter looking to throw here on fourth. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Rams first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Here's Ritter. Locates Hardman for another catch. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. Here's first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And the Rams at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. 
And they were able to get that road victory in the opener, and now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, they get under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Here we go. Here we go. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Ritter. Short throw, it's Higby. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Blaster, six. Six. Mega. Ready. The Ritter back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown. And their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now they'll work with four receivers here on third down and long. Now Purdy. A hit as he throws there incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Taking it about the 36. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Excellent work on the run back there, 33 yards. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Ready? Ritter will set up to throw it. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Niners are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Dane Crookshank. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And, Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal? In case of a defense, they want to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Signal for a timeout, their second. 
as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Thirty seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and ten. Fresh off that pick six, here's Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first down, Purdy. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Play action. Now Purdy. Throwing left side. It's complete. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Now on first down, it's Purdy. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. There he goes, left side. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. going to get the football first here and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started and the fair catch signal for and taken so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25 yard line set to begin their next drive the Rams offense at the line as this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half Charles remember that first half good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. And they went to the tunnel with the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfections in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Ritter off to play fake. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there for L.A. And even 40 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Back to throw. Ritter taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Miko Hardman. His third touchdown of the game and fourth on the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses. Also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The 
49er offense set to get this drive underway. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass. And finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and pick it up in McCaffrey. That he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. But this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. On fourth down, here's Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A handoff left, McCaffrey. The 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Here's Purdy on first and 10. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Rams are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going. Ritter has it knocked down. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it, they were already within a shadow of the goalpost. And then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it, but it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice player cannot escape, and they bring him down. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? Try and fort on fourth down. Here's Ritter. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. Back now in Los Angeles. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little game. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. That is caught by the 
tight end Kettle. Touchdown, 49ers. A great effort there. Laying himself out in the end zone. And the Niners have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point try now for Moody. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And got his man complete. Now he's into the clear again. Touchdown, LA. Miko Hardman, 91 yards. And the Rams are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Under pressure, they got him again. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Pressure comes, but it doesn't prevent him from getting off a good one here. Now this is going to work out well as it's out of bounds near the 13-yard line. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Here's Purdy. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 82 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Throwing here, Purdy. And quick throw here, that's complete. Touchdown! George Kittle with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the 49ers are able to cut into that deficit. Let's 
The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. Ready, set. Go ready. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Three, three. Ritter now on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Miko Hardman, the intended target, and it'll bring up third down. On play action, here's Ritter. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Fred Warner, and the 49ers are going to get the football here at their own 23. Here's first and 10. Here's Purdy to throw. Wide open receiver complete. Now inside the 25. Touchdown, 49ers. A big play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the 49ers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Ready? Here's Ritter. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. And in an afternoon where just about everything's gone right, there's an unlikely sight there. He's got a receiver all alone downfield, and he just overshoots it. Ready. Second and 10. Wait, wait. Back to throw, Ritter. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. A tough spot here, third and 15. Ritter looking to throw it here. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Come on, 
Going for it on fourth down. It's Ritter. That is caught. And he is going to have a Rams first down. And that should be the one that finishes this game off. Throwing now is Ritter. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks go. to go in the football game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Ritter to throw it. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And so close, he gets it to the run. Out of bounds right there. Call it a gain of 11 yards, and that should just about do it. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially... And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown, Charles, with very little time remaining, boy, it just sucked any energy and momentum out of the other sideline. Yeah, take an incredible comeback in the final minute to bring this one back to even. A great series there offensively. They saw an opportunity to slam the window shut, and they followed through. The extra point splits the uprights, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. as they get it up past the 30. This is first and 10. Here's Purdy. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. Throwing, Purdy. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 30. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. To throw is Purdy. They throw caught right around the six. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Rams, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the...